Hey, Shalom Akim, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akwa Kadash, double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Great Stone, Rule Well, and the Aki on trial of four corners of the earth, preaching the gospel of Mashiach Yahweh Shai in sincerity and truth, this but I'm not sure DC can have another short lesson to defy the whole for elect. So I got a quick uh, lesson to share with the Aki concerning, uh, you know, teamwork, all right? So don't uh, you know be shy when it comes to serving the Lord. Uh, you have a lot to offer, so always remember that you have to stick with the plan. So I'm going to start with uh, the book of Second uh, Timothy chapter two. I mean Second Timothy chapter four. I'm going to read verse five. It says, "But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry." All right, and that's what it boils down to. You can't afford to neglect the gift that the Lord Hamashiach Yahweh has given unto you. All right, so you know how it is, man. This is the second time I'm trying to record this lesson, man. Esau's been tampering with <laughs> this recording as I'm trying to do it on my phone, <laughs> you know. So I haven't even uploaded a lesson yet. You know, I'm just basically, you know, doing my research and uh. <laughs> the more recording you know the app just kept uh crashing <laughs> you know it's like the first time the cr- app has crashed on me so it just proves that Esau is upset he's angry but, uh, the knowledge of how much is uh increasing okay he's uh being uh distributed to brothers and brothers are growing in the spirits of how much and uh, they're able to understand what the rule is concerning this gospel. So I got this image online. All right, this image right here. Just let the screen flip over. All right, I got this image right here. All right, what well, concerning uh, teamwork. So always remember, you know, by yourself, you have to participate in this ministry right just like the apostles already said this is a working camp so remember whatever you're doing always always remember whatever you're doing you're doing it for the for the edification of the body you're doing it because uh, you value the words of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai you accepted all right the calling and you have to fulfill your lot all right so you see the different uh you know objects on the screen you see the you see you see the arrows you see the gears you see the descriptions you see all the workflow and all that stuff that's what it takes to have a successful ministry right a ministry is not the one man show all right everybody got to get involved and that's a beautiful thing about serving the lord all right the lord wants us to participate in this level of love, all right, we've been called to be laborers, we've been called to be ministers. So always remember you have to accept this uh, opportunity, all right. It's not just uh, for many people, it's only for a few. And if you're worthy to accept this uh, request, this requirement, and you're able to stick with it to the end, hey, that's a blessing. And that's one thing, you know, I always pray that I can, you know, that that start, you know, we're able to finish, even the younger brothers too, all right? So I'm going to read from the book of uh, John chapter 15. I'm going to read verse 16. So it says, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruits should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. And that's what the Lord Yahusha is letting us know that we were picked, we were selected to do his work. And whatsoever we request for the Lord to do for us, He's going to do it, especially concerning the ministry. Okay, so concerning 
preaching of the gospel that's the most important thing you know we could always uh request assistance for all right so just imagine when the lord yabashim and shai knows that we always asking him to bless us in this ministry he'll always provide you know for other things we didn't even ask for okay so it's always good to always focus on what is necessary and not uh the you know the irrelevant stuff of this world all right because we know we don't have much you know always remember <laughs> you're waiting on the miracle you know just like i was watching the 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 elders from the New York camp talking about a pilgrim, all right, you know, someone, you know, expecting a miracle, you know, someone in that, that mindset, you know, whose uh, experience is uh, entangled, let me see, uh, focused on the miracle, on miracles, all right. So uh, it's really necessary that we hold on to what the Lord has already promised to us. So from the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse seventy-four, it says, "Hear, O ye, my beloved," said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So it's that clear what the Lord has already let us know that we're going to experience difficulties in these last days, and uh, there's nothing, all right, that the world can do to avoid it, and that for the elect's sake we're going to be delivered, all right. So God is already letting us know, man, we're going to be in the perilous times. We're going to be experiencing, you know, difficulties on on the face of the earth. But he's going to deliver us. So it's that simple. He's not hiding anything from us concerning what's about to happen. He's letting us know that the world is about to be judged. All right. Verse 75 says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. Simple. All right. Once you're going through your difficult times, you're being persecuted, you're being oppressed for the gospel of Hamashiach, Yahushai. The Lord is telling you, do not be afraid, do not doubt, for he's going to be your guide. All right? Verse 76, And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So the Lord is letting you know that you're not perfect, but you still have to strive for what is necessary. Don't focus on your limitations. Focus on what the Lord Yahweh is telling you to focus on. Focus on faith. Focus on His words. All right? Because the word of the Lord is not going to be a stumbling block to the elect. All right? When you think upon the name of Amashach Yahweh you have hope. And hope makes you get up every morning and think upon the name of the Lord Amashach Yahweh you know, you do your research concerning the scriptures. You, you know, you face the east and say your prayers. All right, you try your best to be cordial, even when you're on the plantation. All right, do your best to look out for brothers. That's exactly what the Lord requires of us to do. You know, simple uh, teamwork. That's what it boils down to, a laborer. You can't, you can't uh, plow a whole field by yourself. All right, you have, you're going to need help. <laughs> that's why you get tools, and that's why you have brothers to join you so that you can't, uh, you're not going to wear yourself out. All right, don't get overwhelmed by going to course alone. That's why the Lord Yabashim Shai is building his temple back. You know, he's building, his, he's building the tabernacle of David. All right, so all those difficulties you're experiencing, always remember. It's for the greater good. It's for the kingdom of heaven. So you shouldn't uh, doubt. You shouldn't quit. All right. You shouldn't even bother looking backwards or thinking about the past. All right. You need to keep moving forward. So uh, from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1. And two, I beseech you, brethren, 
and beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto Yahweh by Shema Shah by Hashem Kadash, which is your reasonable service and that's what it boils down to you have to make yourself available for the ministry all right and then it says and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good that acceptable and perfect will of your heart by Hashem Yashai by Hashem Kodash it's true the renewing of your mind it's true the transformation of your mindset you'll be able to do the will of the Lord in righteousness and in truth but not with lip service all right and that's exactly what the Lord requires of us to do. When you serve the Lord in spirit and in truth, you don't have opportunity to be arguing, you know, with the elders concerning the scriptures. You don't have time to be indulging in activities of this world that are not go that's not going to benefit the body. All right, you're able to know what the Lord has already said before us. All right, you already know what the prophecy is about. That's what it boils down to. You can't be carnally be carnally minded and you think you're gonna serve the Lord perfectly. You're not. Alright, you're gonna be you're gonna burn out. That's why, you know, the church of this the churches of this world is just in disarray because they think they can please the Lord in the flesh. That's uh that's an impossible thing to do, you know. And that's why they always gonna have troubles. Alright. So, uh, book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Hamashiach Yahweh has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So when you're in the flesh, all you're going to be thinking about is just the cares of this world. <laughs> bondage, bondage, bondage. How are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to invest in this business to increase your profits? How are you going to get down and go down to this other country? You're just worried about unnecessary stuff. All right, worrying about children's school fees and rent and all that stuff. But when you come to self the Lord, you understand what's really, really important and what's the main priority of your existence which is the gospel all right so once you're able to realize that you already know already you already know that there's nothing that this world can do to hold you back that's why your freedom is necessary as in read the first line stand first therefore in the liberty wherewith Hamashiach Hamashiach have made us free that's what it starts with freedom all right once you start once you start to have faith that means you already understood that you are in a tight spot and you got to walk your way out of that corner <laughs> to be free. And that's what the scripture does. It gets you out of that mindset of just thinking that you've been defeated completely. All right. So uh, another precept is going to be from the book of Sirach. Chapter 20. Verse 28, it says, He that tilleth his land shall increase his heap, and he that pleaseth great men shall get pardon for iniquity. And that's what we are about, all right? We are here about tilling, tilling the land, tilling our lands, so that it's going to be an increase, all right? So you're able to feed yourself and feed others, all right? That's what the scripture is always about, that you're studying to show yourself approved. You know, you're meditating upon the scriptures, you're keeping your eye out for these prophecies taking place, and you're able to teach those and and uh, assist those that need this knowledge, all right? And he that pleases a great man shall get pardon for iniquity. And that's what the Lord, you know, is going to grant us in the last days. He's going to pardon us because, hey, just imagine when the apostles give a certain decree and you, and you stick with it, you know it's righteous, you know it's perfect, 
what do you think the Lord is going to do, do for you in the last days? He's going to save you. He's going to deliver you. He's going to make you grow in the spirit. All right? You're not going, you're not going to be having excuses. All right? To do certain things that is requested of you. All right? So you already know that uh, when you serve the Lord, you don't have time to grumble. There's no mumbling and there's no babbling. You just do it. All right? So uh, always remember, man, at the end of the day, the Lord has called you to come serving in spirit and in truth. You know, you have to grow. You know, you got you to gotta get help and you also got to give help. You know, you got to work with others. You know, you're going to partner. <laughs> and that's the beautiful thing about serving the Lord. You know, the Lord is not going to let you, you know, go out there without resources. He's going to give you what you need to accomplish certain goals. When he's moving you up, he's going to move move you up with resources that's going to be helpful for you to move up to the next level too and that's how it goes you know so i just say kal halam nam la yahwa bashim asha bashim kakadash that will honor so the other apostle of great mr on the way and the arkansas lord yahwa shine sincerity and truth shalom